see we get to the end, but that's where we begin. You feel it? Mannequins and we breaking the mold. Breaking out and we breaking the codes. Similar to the jack who stole to the depths in your wet, so you take explosive so get it out. Send your body to flight. Everybody got a target tonight. Everybody come along for the ride. All you studs and your duds and your ladies is fly. Grip the moment like you're gripping the earth. Feel the weight and you're feeling the girth. Now you get it, now you're feeling your worth. Finna say you used to when everything What's going on, YouTube? This is Joe's McFly. Hitting you up with another reaction video to yet another Yankee game. And you know what? Yesterday's game was great, man. It was a close game. You know, Montgomery did his job. They just keep passing the baton along in the rotation. And the Yankees are definitely taking advantage of it. And the offense has come back. So it looks like the offense is coming back. It looks like the bullpen is taking form, especially now with... Chapman coming back now. I think, I believe he actually started his a rehab assignment. Um, he's he landed in Tampa last night, uh, so then that was great. And then you also have the starting pitching right now that is doing great along with the offense. So we're right now we're clicking on all cylinders. This is a good time. I know a lot of people were worried uh, because. <laughs> You know, oh, the Yankees are only a 500 team during so and so stretch. Look, the way I look at it is, even if they're so, even if they're a 500 team, if the peak was 21 and nine, you know, where they had that 20, 21 and nine run, and the Valley, which is 12 games over 500, which is where we're at right now, and the Valley is being at 500 throughout that stretch. That's not bad because. <clears throat> that means that we didn't go in elongated losing streak. We didn't lose um, first place. Um, we stood there with our ace pitching how he's pitched, with our starting catcher being out for a long time, our shortstop being out for a long time, now our center fielder out for a long time, even though Joe Girardi admitted yesterday that he is no longer the starting center fielder. Mount Montgomery came out, gave you seven innings. Um, just had a great performance yesterday. I, I it was it was the most K's that he's had in the game. It was the most innings that he's had in the game, and you can literally see the growth in him. Uh, I believe he has like a 1.88 ERA or something like that during his last four starts. So yes, uh, news flash to so a lot of people that don't know, uh, Montgomery is good. So Yankees yesterday had 11 hits, eight runs. So the offense is definitely clicking. You had four players, I believe, with two hits. One of them being Gary Sanchez moving down into the sixth spot seems to have gotten him going. And then that is also great because I am afraid for American League lineups uh, of, that we're facing and uh, other American League teams if Gary Sanchez is hitting. So if he's hitting, look out, bro, because this lineup has not reached its full potential yet. Bird is still on the mend. I believe he was over five yesterday in AAA, but um, that's neither here nor there. It's good that he is healthy. He's not having any problems with his foot. Um, another person, and this is probably the player of the game, um, a the second best Aaron on the team, A. Aaron Hicks yesterday with two majestic bombs i mean they were hit Th those were bombs those weren't yankee stadium cheapies those were bombs and one of them was a clutch bomb which ended up giving us the lead at that point getting us to three two but hicks has been amazing i mean there's nothing else that you can really say his ops which is on base plus slugging is up there with aaron judge i mean it's it's up there and I say the second best Aaron only because of the home runs and and the average which is not that much of a difference but right now Hicks has 10 home runs which is more than what he's ever had uh, more than what he had last year the entire year and it just looks at this point in time we have to talk about Aaron Hicks being an all-star I'm sorry he does he deserves to be an all-star with the way that he is playing with the fact that he's doing this with limited playing time and he's putting up the numbers that he has been putting up he needs to be considered for the all-star game I think that that is the only fair assessment he needs to be in there and I hope he keeps playing great I believe every single month 
right now. He's been hitting 300 average, so he's been doing great with that. So great to see Aaron, a man, and it's um it's softened it softened the blow of losing Jacoby Ellsbury, which right now, by the way, I don't know where he stands on his concussion like protocol. I know that a lot of people say you can't lose your job to injury, but Joe Girardi went on record and basically said that Aaron Hicks is the starting center fielder um, on this team. Um, and he's going to try to basically work in split time between Gardner and Ellsbury. So, um, I guess, I mean, but when a kid is performing like that, I mean, the guy's 27 years old. It looks like he's reaching his prime. When he's performing like that, you got to take the hot hand and you got to go with it, man. You got to see how long it lasts. And I thought, in a, just like many people thought, that maybe him playing every day would expose him a bit and maybe he'll come back down to earth. No, if anything, it's actually made him better. And uh, that's good. It's made us a better team for it. He's actually more athletic um, in the field, has a much better arm than Ellsbury in the outfield. Uh, right now, we have three really good arms. I think that the Yankees right now have the best outfield in baseball currently i mean which outfield are you rivaling right now defensively and offensively who you got gardner in left field who's a gold glover and he's got a sneaky good arm not only that but look at his power numbers this year then you have hicks with 10 home runs you have judge with 17 home runs we got 40 home runs out of our outfield right now so i mean you're getting four, 40 home runs currently out of your outfield Yang, uh, find me a better outfield right now. Anybody, please, let me know. If there is a better outfield, let me know in the comments. But, yeah, man, it's great that we were able to beat the Orioles uh, today. I'm actually excited because we're actually going to the... I say we, but it's only me today because none of my friends were actually able to go. But um, going to the Bronx Pinstripe event today. Uh, this is the June 10th event. Today is a rare Saturday night game at Yankee Stadium. But we're going to go ahead over there, man. I'm so excited for that. I get out of work, and I'm going straight there. Uh, it's going to be drinking. We're going to have fun. I'm going to see Scott, Andrew, and all of those guys. If you guys are out there, let me know, man. I'm going to put you guys in the video. I'm going to take a whole bunch of footage, man. But, um, well, yeah, today we're going against Tillman, and it is Severino on the mound. So he's been the legit ace of the team right now. And hopefully the baton passes from Montgomery. Severino and let's keep it going but yeah guys I mean like I always say um, yeah. make sure you guys do keep the pinstripes on keep the pinstripes strong hey, and let's go Yankees man let's get this win let's win this series and let's set up for a sweep tomorrow which I don't even know who the hell is pitching tomorrow um, but yeah man let's go Yankees man peace